everybody it's me Angie I'm back again I've just been um, starting on a project um, I got a birdcage sent to me um, by Shannon yesterday and um, I've started doing it and I thought you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna actually sh show you as I go along the process so obviously because it's I'm painting I'm painting it so this is the birdcage and I decided mm, what did I really want to do so anyway it's like oh I don't want to do the norm I just want to do something a bit different so I decided my color features are going to be red and black this is the mirror that goes in it it's the mirror there that goes in the back like so so I was like right I want to do something a bit different so I painted a lot of it but I'm still going to carry on painting it while you're watching I just thought actually come along for the ride and watch what I'm doing I've not really decided how I'm going to do it apart from I know it's going to be red and black but um yeah the possibilities are endless I did put a bit of glitter and glitter nail varnish on there to see what come out like and I quite liked it so I thought I'd test it on the back first before I did anything but yeah this is like really tedious because I keep seeing bits I've missed and I've had a bit of a disaster with my black gesso because I put it in a jar. I can't get the lid off, so I've had to make a hole in the top to get the, the paint out. So I don't know what I'm going to do after that. So yeah, I've done most of it over in black. I'll probably have to go over a few bits as well. And now I'm going to do the butterfly. It's nice in black, I reckon. It stands out more. I quite like black and red as well as a combination of colours. Bit, bit risque. Um, yeah, so anyway, how you been doing today? I've been, what have I been doing? I've been in this, we got a new lazy spa. My daughter bought it for my husband for his 60th birthday. And that came on the 22nd and it's his birthday on the 25th, which is yesterday. So we got it all up and running. It's all up and running now. It's absolutely wonderful. And uh, I'm chuffed to bits with that. And I just keep saying, thank you very much, Nicola. Thank you so much for buying Tony a birthday present for me. Because I've always wanted one. Um, but we haven't got a very big garden. We've only got a small garden. But at the end of the day, we're putting our garden what we like. It's a bit cramped now. But hey-ho. Such is life. There's enough room for it. So why shouldn't we have it? Yeah, so it's really good. I loved it, loved it, loved it. So I've been in it since yesterday. Went in today. Had a bit of mooch around. It was lovely. I love it. So the reason I've done this is because obviously I'm going to decorate it black and red. But I'm um, not sure how. So I just thought I'll put the gesso on. Get that on first. I keep seeing bits I've missed. Are they rubbing off? See there, it's all white. I'll get in there. I don't know if it's rubbing off. Does it rub off metal? I don't know. I don't know. So where's this camera to then? Is it over here? Okay, let me we'll work over here. Right. So. Nice. I just thought the, um, it was white. It's completely white. Like the the butterfly and the flowers is completely white all over. So I just thought I want to. I think I'm going to wrap some satin material around it. I got some red satin material. I'm going to wrap it around the bars, but there will be bits of the bars that will still be showing. So I think it's just rubbing off. Oh God! Don't say that. Don't say that, Angie. I think it is. Do you think it's just because it's gesso? I don't know. I quite like it black. No, am I? So yeah, I usually tip paint and stuff takes forever. So I just thought rather than you watch me painting for half an hour. I paint most of it and then come back to you. So I'm going to put the blower on. Look at my paintbrush. That's not good, is it? So 
I get some tissue coming off a bit. It's still not coming off. It's just like, why does it always happen to me? Why me? I tried to get the jar open. My husband tried to get it open. He said no. He said, I'll oh, put a little hole in it to seal it. So I stabbed it with a knife and made a great big hole. So yeah, I can't get the lid off at all. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to throw that out. Start again. I'm going to put a blower on in a minute. Might be a bit noisy. Well, I'll tell you in a minute when this is dried a bit. So anyway, I don't think I've had a chance to um, tell you about the party. Fancy dress party. It was a re it was a roaring success, ladies and gentlemen. It was the most fun ever. Everybody turned up in fancy dress, and um, we had. Let me think. My sister was um, oh Charleston. My daughter came as nineteen fifty. She had her hair done in a big roll thing all around her face and this wiggle dress. We had a one of my other daughters was Marilyn Monroe. Two of my sons was the Blues Brothers, which was, well, was, they was like, oh, we don't know what to do. And I said, well, you better turn up in fancy dress or you ain't getting in. So anyway, that was an easy one to solve. And then, um, who do we have? We had Little Red Riding Hood. We had a Sugar Plum Fairy. I'm trying to think of all the costumes. Oh, oh we had an Army Man. Um, my dad come as, um, oh, a gangster. It's quite funny, actually. He looked really smart, actually. He really did. My dad's 80 years old, do you know what I mean? And bless him, he did make the effort. And I loved him for that. That was really, really good. So I have got some red satin, like in strip. I ripped into strips. So what I'm going to do, I think, is wrap it around the bars. And then, that was made, mainly with the black stuff. I don't know if this is going to get covered in black paint now the black it was just the bits that were going to be peeping out so this is going to take forever i know but you might as well come along for the ride don't you matter no matter no matter so yeah yeah so it was really good fun i had a great time um i made i told you about the chili i made a big chili and a big chicken curry well i stood there for hours ladies and gents and None of them, none of them really wanted to eat anything. I wasn't impressed. I kept trying to, I kept trying to say to them, "Is it my cooking?" But no. But so lo and behold, I think the party finished about half past two in the morning. So I, me and my husband walked home. Got up at ten o'clock. We both had hangovers, and I had to go up and clean up all the mess. So I had to clean the the whole house right the way through. Of all the aftermath of the party, because my sister was, she got herself very, very drunk. It was nice actually seeing her that drunk. I loved it. She's just a happy drunk. And you know, I just see her face, and I just think, oh my god, she looks lush. And um, so I had to clean the whole house right the way through, wash all the floors, clean up all the mess, and um, I took all the food home and froze it. And uh, the, my phone was ringing off the hook. Have you got any of that chicken curry? Any of that chicken curry? Any of that chicken curry? And so was, everybody wanted the chicken curry the next day. But I think it's better the next day anyway. Yeah, so the chicken curry was a success the next day. They were fighting over it. And um, I think I might just make another big pan and freeze it because they were all knocking my door my son come down and got two portions um and yeah it was chicken curry chicken curry all the way the chili was not as popular but then i make chili a lot so all my kids are always having chili off me so yeah 
definitely do that again chicken curry but it's, it's old style i just put chuck everything in it adds as sweet and fruity it was but my dad said it wasn't sweet enough but, oh well hey ho he's, he's old his taste buds are going so i put it down too it adds apple sultanas i put potatoes in it um coconut milk all the spices garlic about four onions went in it it was lush and i got a tiny little portion was, uh, so i don't know what i'm doing here I'm just I'm, I'm winging it as say as they say so what i might have to do is come back to you once i've wrapped all the bars round. so Unless you want to stay and listen to me rabbling on. Gabble, gabble. Whatever the word. I've never heard of that word before. I'm making them up now. Yeah. My nails, my nails are a bit messy as well. It was, it was sort of, oh, shall I do it? You know, it's like, oh, my nails are a mess. I'll have to do my nails. And I thought, you know what? Oh, it ain't going to matter, is it? I ain't gonna matter. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, this is cotton, uh, satin. Sorry, not cotton. Satin that I bought. I made some can can skirts for a dance school. I had to make um, about fourteen of them. Um, and this is all the leftover bits. So got to put put them to good use. Who thinks? And he thinks definitely. Yeah, I just didn't want to do the norm, you know, because I see I've seen these bird cages before, and um, that what people do with them is beautiful, you know, pinks and whites and creams and and I thought, hmm, he fancies a bit of red and black, so this is what we're doing. See, basically, the only good things I want to show black really are. Like those bits and the hinges and stuff like that. And what I might do is put the because it's rubbing off. It is rubbing off. Jesse is rubbing off. But when I finished, I might touch it up a little bit with black, and then put the. Um, I got nail varnish. I got glitter and nail varnish, and I got a pack of. I got some B and M's. There's a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six. See it nail bar. One, two, three, four, five, six of them with that one for three nine nine. Bargain. I think this the Christmas gifts are coming out now. That's the next thing, isn't it? Because I work in a shop, and uh, our sh our shop's got to be up and ready for Christmas by the end of August, believe it or not, which is next week. So all the all the gifts are sort of coming in. Uh, it'll be ready when it's ready I think me thinks so let's do this now am I going to go around the hinge or am I going to finish it there let's see I don't know what to do if I go around the hinge I'm going to have to go around like that yeah do that so cutting it off very fiddly. I'll put that in water. And the backdrop's not that good. Let's see what's on the other side. That's not much better. Where's that mirror? I'm going to have to get a mat that's not shiny because my lights just bounce off it. Or either I'm going to have to get them lighting behind me or summer. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh look, got paint on it now. Oh well, oh, that's the ambiance, as they say. The inches weren't quite dry. How did I do it? Across like that. Yeah, that paint's just rubbing off. I 
kind of matter, is it? No matter, no matter. Not a problem. I'm just going to basically keep wrapping it round till I run out and start again. It's quite nice, but I was I was just like looking at it and thinking, what can I do? What can I do that's different? You know, my style. Stretch to there, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Leave this as well. Why have I put my glue gun on? Oh, damn it! Not again. Oh, yeah, what do you think? What do you think? What do you reckon? I'll just carry on wrapping it around the bars. Um, I don't think I'll wrap it around the back bars because I, well, I could do, I suppose. Let's see how it goes. It's coming undone. Right, let's start another bit. Let's get another bit. So this is just red satin that I got left over. So just basically rip it in strips. And she says that way so yeah basically what I do is I just scissors 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 any scissors will do just cut a strip like that and rip like that it don't matter how tatty it is tattier the better actually this might be a bit thick yeah it is Cut it down again. I'm going to cut just a bit wide that like that. So I'm going to cut it again. Like that. And rip. Oh, look. See, it's all rubbed off. Right. I need to go back to the drawing board. With that one. This is a shiny bit. Not a bit. And do this. It's a nice thing about crafting is creating your own things in your own style. You can change it. You could just go, well, actually, I don't like that. Or I'm going to do it different. And you learn by your your mistakes as well. Well, some people do. So, come on, get out. Where's the knot to? I like this with um, any knots. I'm absolutely useless at undoing knots. Oh, I can't undo it. Come on, Angie, sort yourself out. Don't give up. Never give up. That might be it. Yeah. Ta da! Da 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 da! Now, I might have enough to twist it around and meet up with that one. I can still see this. Can you see it? Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe just. I do apologise then. I'm no Steven Spielberg. If I would wrap that round too. Like that. Like that. And stick it down. Come on, glue gun. There. Number one bar done. Can you see it? Yeah. You can see it. Right. Let's put a bit of glue on there to catch it. It's a bit awkward to film actually because for you to be able to see because it's bars. But I just thought, yeah, when Shannon sent it to me, I was like, okay, what am I going to do with that? Because 
it was white. Hmm. Yeah, I want to do that on the floor then. Yeah, because it was white, I was like, mm, I don't know, because it. I just didn't want to do it white or pink or. I just like black and red together. And I've got some. I got some black and like tool, like netting, and then what I thought I might do. What have I done with that? As I've cut a piece and I might put it like that over the mirror. Like that, cover it, the mirror like that in black net. And then we'll see how it grows from there. And that's the two ideas I got so far as the red satin. Paint it red, red satin. Uh, paint it red, paint it black. Red satin around the thingies and black net on the mirror, over the mirror. Because the, the candle that Shannon sent me to go in it is actually a electric one, battery one. So there's no naked flame, so I can put anything I want on it. Because it's not going to burn. It's not going to set on fire. Yeah, what have we been doing today then? What have I been doing? I've been, as I told you, in the spa, housework day to day, but my husband's home so I can get much done, as much as I'd like. Um, and then this afternoon I went shopping, took my son shopping, because I take him shopping once a fortnight, I couldn't do it every week, it'd get on my nerves, so he shops once a fortnight. I shop every week, but I like to shop on my own. Well, I don't mind if Tony comes. My husband. Because uh, sometimes he puts extra stuff in the trolley. And also, sometimes he pays for it at the till. Even though he's already paid for it by giving me my housekeeping. So I got a little bit more housekeeping. Because I'm a kept woman. That's what I am. I'm a kept woman. Yeah, shall I come back? I might come back to you actually with this because it's going to take forever. Cover. All I know up to now is this, uh, this bit and the rest of it I'm gonna, we're going to do together. I'm going to create it while you're with me so that you can see my thought process, what goes into it. Because at the moment I have got no clue what I'm going to do with the butterfly, or the flowers, or the bars. All I know is I've got, I'm going to have to touch that black up because it's rubbing off. I'm not worried about the bars because they're being covered. Yeah, it's fun. This is fun, isn't it? And basically, when I get to there, I don't need to, I don't, I don't really need to um, snip it off. I can just go back over it and then go up the bars. Like so. Oh. back up go back around oh my god this bar Let me turn it around so you can actually see the satin the shiny bit that is Think a disaster. I'm sure it'll be fine. Twist it. Every time I touch that, I rub some off. 
I need to find a, a more stable solution for my that the butterfly and the two flowers because I want them to be black and I don't know how to make them stay black but I will investigate further find out what paint I got to use to make them stay black just all I've done with that is just looped it over because it's you think you're not going to see that at all so yeah let's do it Right. Trying to cheat then. Get away with wrapping it around a bit, a bit less. But no, we weren't having none of that. It didn't look good. Um, I see it's all just rubbed off. So I need to go back to the drawing board. The black. Tedious, but I like it. It's just you don't have to think, do you? Just be in your own little world, creating. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll carry on doing this and then I'll come back to you and um, we'll decide. Well, I'll decide what, what I'm going to do next. Oh, I'm definitely going to put the net over the, the mirror. I decided that. I'm definitely doing that. And then I'm going to have to find out what's the best thing to put on this to make it stay black. Because every time I touch it, it just rubs off. See what it's looking like. Yeah, like that. That's nice. And I just thought as well what I can do. I was thinking about maybe getting some beads or gems and dangling them off the bottom of there on a string. You know, on a string, a piece of um, wire, or I don't know. I'll see. Make some bangles to go on, dangle off of it. Little drops of crystals and red flower, uh, red red flowers, red beads, red and black beads. That look nice. So yeah, I've got all these things going over in my mind at the moment. Not what I'm gonna decorate with. Sorry, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Gets engrossed, don't I? Go over that again, go around that again. If you don't mind how many times you go over it. Over that, like that. And then start going up this bar. No, not yet.
So I got my my bauble as well. I got to do that, but I'm going to put my thinking cap on to do that. I got a challenge sent me a bauble to alter as well. Um, me and Shaz or Sharon, I don't know what her YouTube name is, um, her channel and Collect Garland all got one of these to alter. And Collect Garland did hers on a live, and she put a captured. She did a captured fairy. Which is really nice. Um, I'm not sure if Colette was that pleased chuffed with it really. But I thought she'd done a good job. I mean she had all these ideas in her mind but they didn't. It, it never does turn out. like When you're doing it live and cold. I don't think. You have to, you have to change it. You have to change it. If things don't work you just change it. And that's what she did. And it came out really nice. I liked it. Put a bit of glue on there. Put that bit down. We'll start again. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Oh look at these marks on here. Yeah, I like it. So I don't know if you want to carry on watching this or or not I'm just going to carry on for a little bit then maybe I'll switch it off and come back when it's done yes yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing me ball ball Shannon you sent me my little bits and I'm just go in there can you see what I'm doing can you see what I'm doing Sorry folks if you can't see what I'm doing. I do like red and black combination of red and black. I do and I love Valentine's because you can put you red and black everything. Sexy colours, sexy, sexy colours. romantic or whatever you want to call it yeah I do like Valentine's Day me and my husband always celebrate it even after all these years 